today, Sunday, January 19th, 2014. From NBC News, this is Today with Lester Holt and Erica Hill, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And welcome to Today on this Sunday morning, America Hill. And I'm Lester Holt alongside Jenna Wolf and Dylan Dreyer. Dylan, as we'd all like to forget that last round, will this <laughs> one be as bad? You know, Erica, it is not going to be as bad, but it is still going to be brutally cold for a lot of areas in the Midwest and in uh, areas like uh, the Northeast, too. Now, here is the polar vortex. We've uh, talked a lot about this. It's this cyclone that sits up normally in the North Pole. It's normally nice and compact. It doesn't move all that much, but what we're going to see is it start to wobble and then it breaks off from being up in the North Pole and it does start to dip down to the south. Now last time we got right into the heart of this polar vortex. That's why we saw exceptionally cold temperatures but this time around the coldest is going to stay right up in Canada. Nice surprise. You guys just all made it out here. So, yeah, nice, nice to see you. But if you could just speak fast because it's really freezing. I know, and your legs are freezing. But we're not thinking about that part. No. With just 18 days until Sochi, the hardest part is, I find, trying to balance, you know, holding the curling thing with my beard. That's really the most difficult part. I suggested a holster. Well, we will show you the entire episode, including where I actually stay on my knees and all that stuff. And hold the beer. Coming up during the games. Have fun with the ladies. <laughs> the, the, the curling oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting one. We'll be watching it. Nice to have you with us this yeah, morning. Thanks, thanks for coming in. Nice to have you with us this yeah, morning. Thanks, thanks for coming in. Anyway, I think I forgot to wish you guys a uh, happy National Popcorn Day. Oh, well, thank you. Today yes, is the moment of that too. salty treat most commonly associated with the movie theater, and we just happen to have some. And most commonly salty or buttered, maybe plain in my mom's case, or with this caramel. But we favorite. have some new, Hands down. we have some new gourmet popcorns. This is just kind of a new thing. So we have four flavors from three different companies. I think this first one is from Popcornopolis. Out of Hollywood, it's called the Prada of What's popcorn. What's in there? There's a little cherry. Well, are we it? trying to figure out what looks these like are? Cranberry I've been snacking. See, it's for a while. Is it cranberry or something? Yeah. It's a good handful. Mm. Cranberry. Mm. Oh, I like that. Are they certain flavors? Yeah. Mm. And there's a card here. Tell us what that one is. I have one piece. It is um, for Jenna. Mm. Oh, raspberry, raspberry grape, grape yogurt. yogurt. Mm. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, that one tastes extremely raspberry. healthy. Totally cranberry. Ooh. Okay, so the there's a lot of in This is really good. This is Doc popcorn which was developed by a husband and wife team. They wanted some healthier snack alternatives. I think I figured this one out. Yeah? What do you think it is? Because I was tasting before. Ooh. I think this one's Snickerdoodle. Mm, really? Could be. Uh, Either right. that or Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What is it? Mm. Which could be the same thing. That's true. Sinfully Cinnamon. All right. I say we're both right. I think it's a combo. Yeah. I think we're both right, too. Uh. This is Izzy Popcorn from an eight-year-old named Isabel who started developing popcorn, and she was selling it to not palette. too far right. from us in New York City. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over the summer, an eight-year-old made this. She's eight. Is he? Because this one's got a complex flavor to it. Without Excuse a ton me. of stuff on it, popcorn's actually a pretty healthy Ooh. snack. This one got oh. some kick. I kind of like the kick. It. Oh yeah. Um, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh. Yeah. Mm, jalapeno. A that little warning. Really spicy. Wow. Jalapeno. 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 There you go. Uh, an eight-year-old, you said? Wow. Izzy. I can't believe Izzy Pop. Wow. Slow burn, this one's but really quite good. Our last one, Jenna, is this one your favorite? This is She's simply been my favorite. She's been saying, telling everybody to try this one. Did you try this popcorn? I'm this sorry, is, I love this. this I very rarely indulge. This is also from Popcornopolis. Mm. Here you go, Lester. It's like got funfetti all over it. It does too. have funfetti. Yeah. This is, I love this. So it's got to be like a birthday cake. I say mm. birthday cake. Cupcake. Okay. 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 Cupcake. Yeah. Mm. I'm so close on all of these. Like, these are good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Can we mix them together? <laughs> Happy I've been popcorn day. I'm mixing the jalapeno and the popcorn. We'll be right back. After these messages. <laughs> We are looking forward to it, David. We'll see you then. That's going to do it for us on a Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, eat your popcorn today. National Popcorn <laughs> Day. So good. I'm surprised uh, there's any left. <laughs> Not for long. I'll see you back here tonight for NBC Nightly News. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Thanks for watching.